That's a good, massive bite. It is eating line. Oh my goodness. I've never seen line come off a reel like that. Hey folks, I'm Dieter Melhorn. Come along with me on this trip as I go drifting for winter blue catfish. I'm gonna go over some of the tips and tricks that I use uh, to put fish in the boat in the winter time when I am drifting. And I'm also gonna continue my test of the uh, cut bait, fish side by side with the strawberry jello chicken. You're gonna get to see which one catches the most fish and which bait puts that big blue in the boat. All right guys, got one going right here, right here, right here on a piece of perch. Boom, it's windy. Quick reminder, everything on this side of the boat, orange rods and the green rod or green reel, the green spinning reel is perch. Everything on that side, red rods and the red reel the new, uh, new one I'm trying out from PC Fun, the, uh, what do they call it? The carnivore chicken. First bite, first fish. You got it on some perch. Pretty sure this was a perch filet. It is windy. It is kind of intermittently windy. It blows for a minute and then it stops. It's like a boga grip fish. Might be able to lift him in. Let's see what we got here. Hey, he's liftable. Got him. Boom, skunk is out of the boat. There's that piece of perch. It's coming right up out of the channel. Uh, I made kind of a drift. I'm getting blown perpendicular to the river channel. So, nice fish. Good one. Get him back alive. All right, guys, there's fish number one in the boat. Uh, sort of drifting out of a cove mouth. Came, uh, like I said, I'm going perpendicular. I'm going directly across, crossing it at 90 degrees to River Channel. Came out of that cove mouth. Uh, pretty good wind. It's kind of blows really hard. It's real gusty. Then it lays down gusty. So I've got the big eastern one drift sock out slowing me down. But made it out of the cove, didn't catch anything, not a single bite. Went through the river channel and just punched up onto the side of it, onto the flat between here and the bank that's over here. And that's where I got that fish. So I'm gonna keep dragging and uh, we'll uh, see what we can put in the boat here. All right guys, got one going pretty good right there. That is another one on perch. Number two on perch, fish number three. Decent bite. Uh, I made that last drag all the way out to the bank and uh, didn't pick up any more fish after that last one. So I decided to come up here and try to find a place where we got kind of, we got a wind out of the west. So I'm trying to find something to where I can drift with the wind in a westerly channel. I got a bend here in the river channel. Decided to try. Most of the fish I'm marking were in or adjacent to the river channel. So I set up. And that's where I'm making a pull here. Got a little bit of a shoot here. The river channel makes kind of a dog leg. That's where I'm fishing. I can get him to stay down underneath the drift sock. Oh, has he cleared it? I think he cleared it. Yes. Nice, nice, nice. Decent fish, not quite gonna make the teens, I don't think. Hey, say, hey, say, hey, say. Fish are not opening the mouth. Get off of there. Come on. Come on, there we go. It's perch. Pretty fish, got some mud. Get him back in the water for y'all to catch. Say bye. All right guys, I think there may be one on this chicken bait. On Pinky again, yes. Small fish. 
small one of them had a clicker got turned on <clears throat> but we got it wind is a howling we are back into a mode of wind is a blowing coming pretty good through here i'm coming I'm up out of the river channel yet just starting to come up out of it there's some fish around the edge of it it is just hard to stay in it with this wind i'm kind of bouncing in and out and around probably what i will do is after i get up out of here i'll probably make this drag for another i don't know 300 yards oh he popped off and uh anyway turn around and reset <clears throat> um I'm not gonna run it all the way to the bank. That one popped off right there. That's too bad. Looks like he had the cork and all. That will do it sometimes. If they get that cork and slide it down, that can ruin a good hookup. But, oop, got one going behind me. Let me get this one back in the water. Might be some fish right here, guys. <clears throat> yep, there he goes. That one is on perch on this side almost makes you wonder did that fish go back to the bottom and hit this bait nah, probably just some fish in that same area this one actually feels like a little better fish this is that catfish pro rod and reel combo i've been trying knock that one in gear i've been trying these out they're a um, much lighter rod than the other catfish type rods that you've seen me use uh I say lighter as in the weight of the rod, a lot less weight. About the same length, uh, it's got a little, uh, it, it's not as heavy a reel seat It's probably the biggest weight factor. It does not have an aluminum reel seat. It's got the same reel seat that like the uh, uh, ugly sticks have. And uh, a lot less weight, a lot less cost too. I assume that is probably one of the reasons the cost is lower on it because uh, these are not a lot of money. If you're looking to get into a rod and reel combo that is affordable, uh, this is one to take a look at. All right, guys. Ah, it's probably about the same size fish as the other one. I got a quick look at the other one for a second there. See if I can keep him out of some lines. Uh, of course not. Of course he's going to get wrapped up in another line. Of course he is. Oh, he came out of it. Woohoo! Got lucky. I guess the police boat. Hello, Mr. Policeman. Let's get this one in the boat. He's liftable. Good fish. This is a fat little football shaped one here. Come on down. Some of these fish have come out recently. been real long. I call them river fish. Seem like them river fish are kind of long. Hold still here. There we go. Got that hook out. That's a little football. Boy, if he makes it to 20 years old, it'd be a monster. <laughs> Ooh, back alive. There you go. There's uh, two hookups back to back. That one we didn't get in the boat. That one was on chicken. And uh, then the other one on perch. Uh, coming through about... Nah, 32, 33 feet of water right here where I'm at. Water's still about the same temperature, about 47. Fish are a few scattered ones. Again, these fish came right adjacent to that river channel. Uh, it's where the majority of the fish we've had outside of that one bigger fish came earlier. So I'm gonna pull this a little bit further. We've still got some arches down here and uh, see if we can hook on to another one before we reset. All right, guys, there is something funky with this one line right here. This one, this jello one is off on a tangent. I'm not sure what happened there. There's a fish. It's just got, whoop, there he is. Whoop, 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 there he is. Whoop, whoop, there he is. He did, he hit it and swam back to the boat. And I've been paying attention to Whoa, 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 whoa. Make sure you're hooked good. <laughs> I love it. All right, I did go get me a drink and I did have my back turned for a second. But it was just a second, it wasn't long. 
This is a red rod chicken. Good hookup we've had. Hopefully we'll get this one in the boat. He doesn't pull loose. I'd like a better fish. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Got some life. That's, oh, got some life. I'm gonna nurse him up, make sure I get him up here. Yeah, good fish. This one, again, I'm getting away from the river channel. I was very close to making a turn or changing. How much further I got? Let me put a little bit further. Let's get this one in the boat first. All right, there, guys, is the biggest fish of the day. Probably ought to be netting this fish, but with the boga. No doubt about that bait. Nice fish. How's he going there? Oh yeah, mid teeners. Mid teens, we'll take him. Summer, summer, summer. There we go. Good fish. Good one. Big go head. Big go happy fish. There he is, guys. Happy to get that one. Pop a waypoint on him. About 16 pounds. Nice fish. Get him back in the water. Alive. Get him off the boga. Boom. All right, there you go, guys. Number five in the boat, a teener. Um, it's funny, the bigger fish uh, have come away from the river channel. They had more numbers right up there at the river channel, but the ones that, the two that were in the teens have come a little bit further away, kind of after a little bit of a lull in the bike. So that's kind of interesting. Uh, the two bigger ones have also come on chicken so far. So that's also interesting, but I'm gonna pull this a little bit further. I had planned to pack up and make a move, but I'm gonna go ahead and drag it a little bit further, see what happens, and then go reset and probably do the same thing I just did, come across that river channel uh, up onto the flat and uh, just see where these fish are. It's a good, massive bite. It is eating line, oh my goodness. I've never seen line come off a reel like that. Oh no, oh, 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 oh. Dude, I don't know what that is. That's crazy. I hope that stays buttoned up. I have never seen lime come off the reel like that. Uh, I'm sure that's, that's pretty good drag on there too. This, oh, oh stay buttoned, stay buttoned. Stay buttoned, please, please, please. That one hit it like a freight train. That's a good bite. This is his best bite I've seen in a while. Man, it was eating line. It's coming to the top like a big fish. Go back down, go back down, just go down. I'd rather play these fish underwater than on top. That's a massive one. That is a massive one. I say massive, who knows how big it is. It hit like a freight train. This stuff out of the way. There we go. Best bite I've had in a long time. Even the 58 and the 52 didn't slam it like that. So, oh yeah, come on baby, stay hooked up for me, stay hooked up for me. This is on a Pinky and a B&M Silver Cat Elite Rod, Santee Rig. Piece of chicken. Apparently, 
I had 12 miles of line out on this thing. Oh, I see him on top. He is on top of the water. I'm trying to keep him to this side of the boat. Ah, he's big. He is big. He is big. Dive back down, big boy. Dive back down. Dive, dive, dive. Trying to keep you out of every line I got. All right. Him over here to the boat straight up and down now guys straight up and down well now he's still back he took a dive down to the bottom got him coming up off the bottom it's a heck of a fish it's a heck of a fish Oh, there he is. There he is. There he is. Uh, come here, come here, come here, come here. Oh, I need one more crank. He's in a net. Oh, that is a pig. Oink, going, going. He ain't gonna break 50. He looks like he's in the 40 pound range. But that's a pig. I'll take that all day long. All right, guys, there it is. Starts to slip. There it is, folks. Good fish. Good one. Him back up here where I can hold him. There we go. Good one. Good fish. Back alive. I tell you what, guys, that was a good fish. Uh, that, that's a nice one. That, uh, that made my day, made my week here. Good to get a big one in the boat here in the middle of winter. Uh, if the wind were staying like this, I'd love it. We got about a 10, 10 mile an hour sustained wind coming up through here. It's perfect for drifting. Got the big drift sock out, able to do about a 0 0.4, 0 0.5. And that one came on chicken. Those two, the small one too, both on chicken. So it, it shows all fish will eat this stuff. Uh, and I don't know why. I don't know why. It's not a miracle bait. It's no secret. Nothing I came up with. People have been using it for a long time. Uh, and I don't know if it works everywhere. But on the three lakes I fished with it on, I've caught fish on every one of them. And more fish have come on it than any other bait I've used. So I got them back in the water. I'll try to catch another one. All right, guys. I just got that fish back in the water. Cleaning some stuff off. I got another rod going chicken side also boom hooked up Woo! doubled up i think this fish hit while that 40 was coming in so what a day man this is crazy might have hit the little sweet spot here might have to drag back through here we'll see happy to have it man that's a great fish great fish double up and get two here back to back it's nice 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 this one is not as big but it's a good fish easy easy squeezy nurse the man's two on chicken that one is in the other line sucker in here ah. pow chicken taking a command and lead it's working today it's working today I wonder if it works everywhere I really don't know be a good one for lunch but he's going back a lot winter time deep water that's where the fish are at wrong i ain't caught a fish in the river channel today 
the deepest water i tried it for about an hour hour and a half never caught a fish caught it on the edges adjacent to it never all the way up in it so uh you know that's part of the deal when you're trying to find these fish and where they're at you think with this colder water oh they're going to be deep not necessarily uh you just got to do some playing around and do some checking if you're able to drift troll drag baits is the best way to figure out what's going on if you're an anchor person uh it's going to be kind of uh, you know running gun kind of stuff hit it check it if you ain't got no fish 30 40 minutes get up and move you guys on the bank it can be tough for you depending on where you're fishing what kind of access you've got to the bank uh you may or may not be in the right place and you guys know that that's uh that's the tough part of bank fishing but uh, if you got some options there as far as putting baits in different types of water uh, today it's just these fish have been out on the flats for whatever reason adjacent to the river channel and that's where they have been plucked off at uh seems like there's more of a concentration near the river channel but some of the teeners i've caught up closer to the bank i've got one going right here guys right here it's on my new reel not a monster but i get the wet reel on one all right it's funny you get so used to using a bait caster all the time in your muscle memory what you're used to using it's totally different uh when it comes to reeling the fish in uh, and bringing one in especially fighting one it's one thing fishing one up straight underneath the boat i catch those all the time but when it comes to reeling one in it just everything's different it feels awkward when you're doing it this is the uh new reel i'm trying out they're uh carnivore it's one of the uh bait feeders it's got a deal here which I can show you real quick while there's a fish on it. I'm going to put it in this bait feeder mode. Knock it out. That fish can actually take line. Of course, he's on top of the water back there. He's not a very good actor at this point. But the fish can actually take line. It's almost like a uh, having your rod in a clicker mode. And then to knock it into gear, watch this. Boom. Now it can't take line. You're back to your drag again. So it's pretty cool. You can actually adjust the tension with this back here. Use this, you could back it way off to where it hardly takes any pressure to pull the line. But again, knock it into gear, just like with a bait caster. Boom, you got nothing but your drag at this point. So, kind of cool. Trying it out for some of you guys that may not like the bait casters for reasons like backlash, that kind of thing, or cost. These are an affordable alternative that will give you a good reel that if you're fishing for line sensitive fish, you can actually give them a little bit of line. Good eater blue. Now I personally don't use clickers or bait feeders uh, all that much for catfish cause I'm using that right there. And that's a circle hook. Circle hook needs that resistance being pulled to the corner of the mouth. Catfish are not chewers like a shark. This reel would be cool with a shark. So, uh, but some people like them. Some people use them depending on how you're fishing. If you're, especially if you're feeding out live baits or like stripers, or maybe even flatheads. A lot of people like that doing it that way. So, yeah, check one of these out. I'll put a link down in the description section below where you can check out that reel and uh, get one if you like it. All right, guys, got one. Got one on this rod. Poof, hooked up. Oh, sun is bright. There it is. Decent fish. I cannot see a thing for the sun though. That sun is going down. I can't see what the heck I got. I'm also drunk trying to talk too loud because there's a boat right over there. They probably already think I'm crazy. Let's see where we're going with this. Let's just see what we got. People look at you funny when you talk to yourself on a boat when you're catching a fish. That's okay. This one is in a bunch of lines. Bunch of lines. He's not as big as I thought. At least I don't think he is. Try to baby grip him. Yes. 
Get there. And then that one. Decent fish. Way going for the boga. These are bass fishermen, by the way. I've never seen them done this big before. They say, simmer down, simmer down, simmer, simmer, simmer. Kaboom! In the boat. Little fish. Cabana. They got no way. Eh, about 13 pounds. Good one. Good fish. Back alive. Sure. Guys, I was just bringing rods in to go home. Sun's going down. Look at that beautiful sunset. Isn't that gorgeous? Uh, I think any sunset on the water is gorgeous but anyway i think i got a fish i think i got my farewell fish for today it's a little one but you know what happy to catch it guess what it's on oh he's a little little channel a little channel look at that chicken ain't no denying it that's the one that'll fin you oh look he's cold the only channel cat I've caught today. Only channel cat I've caught in a long time. Look at that. Chicken. It's off of there. That is fish number 10. And that is 7. On chicken. Hard to deny. All the fish though, adjacent to the river channel. That's where they're at right now. Uh, who knows? Again, we're back into 46 degree water. So, this is where they're at for now. It's working today. I'll be back doing some more videos. We'll see where they're at next time. Try to give you some more clues on how to find them. Well, folks, if you made it this far, thank you for watching. Here are a couple more videos that I think you're going to like. I'd watch that one and then that one. No, no do, do that one first and then that one. I, I don't know. Just watch them both. They're both good.